I see. Play. It's like she is definitely someone that that I would I would date. Yes, in the like real I would world. I would wife yeah. and date and have as a girlfriend. Oh my gosh, really? You know, yeah. I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, I knew it. See, I knew that there was no way Big Brother Titus was going to come and go to not find at least one triangle. And guys, it might seem as though this one might even go beyond the triangle. Yes, I'm talking about the conversation that Juicy J had with Kosi this afternoon. Oh my God. I mean, just like his name, Juicy, the T is Juicy. So please, watch to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving you guys all the lowdown of the details of that conversation. A lot was spilled. If you missed out, please, you definitely need to watch this video to the end so that you do not miss out on any part. And um, yeah, before we get into it, let me officially welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. Hi, you're especially welcome. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Franklin Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the T. If you're new on here, special thanks for choosing to subscribe to this channel, for choosing to join this community. Yes, if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for choosing to come back and click on this video to watch. Thank you all so much. But if you are not in any of those categories, if you are yet to subscribe, please, I urge you to not hesitate, right? But just go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen so that you always receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one, especially if you are a fan of this new show, this Big Brother Titans show. Trust me, you definitely need to stick to this channel because this is where all the magic happens. Now, all of that said, quickly, we move into the conversation. It seemed as though today was that day for evaluation of relationships. I mean, um, couples' relationships in the Titans' mansion, yes. And I say so because um, it all started with, um, what's his name, Tabang, having a conversation with Kosi, telling her that it seems as though this ship that she has going on with Yemi is not allowing him to blend more with the male housemate. And um, Kosi was like, okay, fine. She was going to have a conversation with Yemi about it. Then it turns out that by the time she went to Yemi to have the conversation, um, Yemi, <laughs> oh God, Yemi, you know, made it known to her that no, that he has actually been blending with everybody and even took special interest in talking about Nelisa. Yes, that Nelisa is a sweet girl. Yami had been in his own kind of zone, guys. Only God knows what this guy has been thinking about because the other day he was having a conversation with um, Ipe Leng and he was telling her that, oh, she looks beautiful. Whenever he wants to come and talk to her, Kosi is always stifling him, you know, always choking him around with a, with a presence and then he would not have time to come and talk to her. So it seemed that so the guy was kind of weighing his options like, okay, fine, I'm with Kosi. How do I get to talk to Nelisa? How do I get to hook up with um, Ipi Leng? How do I get to talk to Yvonne? You know, so a lot of evaluation was just going on. But going back to the conversation between Kosi and Yemi, Yemi refuted, saying that no, that the only person he has not really had like an intimate conversation with amongst the guys was Tabang. So probably it was the age difference, but it's something that they're going to get around to doing. Anyways, Kosi, on the other hand, was already reading the signals from Yemi, you know, because the guy is giving some sort of vibe. One minute, he's acting all sweet and loving. The next minute, he's acting like, hmm, his mind is in a distant place, right? Like, he's really in deep thought, he's thinking about stuff, and the guy is becoming kind of, you know, stiff with her. Anyways, she decided to go have a conversation with, um, Juicy J about it. Both of them, by the way, they have a very, very good rapport. So they were having conversations about it. And that was where Kosi threw the ultimate question at Juicy J. So she was asking him about who he first had eyes for the moment he walked through those doors into the Titan's mansion. But like when you walk through the door on Sunday, who did you have your eyes on? Like, just be honest. Be them. Really? That's so strange. That she was aware that he was with Yvonne now, right? And they're kind of taking things serious. And she also personally likes Yvonne's vibes, right? But then she would like to know. Lo and behold, <laughs> Juicy J shocked the whole world. Yes, the whole world of people watching the show anyways. This dude said that it was actually Ikmi Leng that was the first person that caught his eye. Guys, 
I had to sit down properly to listen to his description of Ipileng. According to Juicy J. So this one is like yeah. someone that I would give that, 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 um, that, 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 that ring. Yeah. I'll give her the ring. Yeah. If you were to date someone, if you were to marry the person, like literally give the person the ring, you know, shine with the person, it would definitely be Ikbi Leng. If this guy went on and on and on for a while, talking about how he just loves her vibe. He loves the fact that, you know, she has this very, very cool, calm nature, this wife quality, you know, this very, very nurturing quality that he just loves the way she is, that she's a spec, his kind of woman. Now, the ultimate question again, the follow-up ultimate question, because that response completely shocked Kosi. But then Kosi made a revelation that apparently, Ikpilen caught the eyes of a lot of the guys in the house. Even Yemi, yes, that even Yemi. So Ikpilen caught a lot of eyes. I promise you that. Yeah, even before she and Yemi became an item, Yemi was already sort of feeling Ikpilen before um, he and Kosi, you know, they're doing stuff and now they're officially a couple in the house. Anyways, so she was asking him that okay fine it's established you like this girl that much right so what is stopping you from talking to her and now <laughs> gcj started giving some comparisons that okay with it be like she's kind of very very shy you know every time he wants to talk to her she's running away she's withdrawn and with yvonne you know he felt like he was too quick to judging Yvonne, but aside that, he loved the way that Yvonne is effortlessly sexy, like that she has this sex appeal, you know, that anytime they are around each other, he senses it and it gives him the thrill. It's very exciting for him. He likes her that way, right? And he, she's also talking about, oh, if you want to get with me, then you have to be serious, not like you're going to be with me and then you're jumping from one girl to another in the house. We have to stick to this if we're going to get into it, right? So the guy said he's in a dilemma, he's confused. Because he really wants Ikpilen to know how he feels about her. But then he also kind of likes um, Yvonne's vibe. You know, she's like that danger that keeps on luring him, you know, into a zone. And Kosi was kind of just laughing and telling him that, listen, if you're looking for that person that you really need to nurture things with, then you need to make sure that you start up a friendship with Ikpilen in the house. Now, like, don't outrightly go out there and tell her that you want to be her boyfriend because it's going to be very obvious that you want to play games with her because obviously you're now with someone else and you people are very, very public. So you have to start off being friends with her in the house and then after the show, maybe you guys can take it up from there. Ladies and gentlemen, the advice kept flowing in and flowing in and flowing in. But then from Juicy J's countenance, you could tell that this guy was just giving off the vibe of a typical man, a typical man. And I'm trying so hard not to generalize, but then it seems as though this is just something kind of typical with most men. They find someone, they claim, yeah, this is the person they want to be with like forever and ever. And then they find someone else that sort of gives them that thrill at life. And then you find them chasing after that other person, right? So in as much as Kosi was advising um, Juicy J on the right step to take towards ensuring that he does not lose out on Ikpi Leng, yes, and this guy was acting very reluctant for him mm, and he likes Yvonne still he wants to be with Yvonne because of course now according to him both of them they do you touch me I touch you you touch me I touch you so he's already anticipating all the freaky things that we're gonna do in that house of course and he knows fully well that with it being like it's actually like maybe a 100% chance that it might not even happen. That both of them might be an item in the house and might not even get freaky, might not kiss, might not even have sex. But then with Yvonne, he's very certain that with the way both of them are going, something must definitely happen, right? And so guys, it was just very obvious to me that this guy is just being with Yvonne because of the thrill, the excitement, the fun he wants to have in the house. Then possibly after the show, it's going to make his advances at Ikpi Leng. But then, guys, I don't know how that's going to turn out for both of them at the end of the day. There's one thing I'm certain about is that if Yvonne gets to find out about this gist, this conversation, that Juicy J has a serious crush on Ikpi Leng, hey, it's going to cause drama in that house. It's going to cause drama. I'm telling you guys, it's going to cause drama. Yvonne has the potential to make that house hell for juicy j you guys were already acting like a couple and they're almost gonna start sharing beds 
very soon so ladies and gentlemen i would love to know your thoughts about this do you think that whatever gcj feels for ikpilek is actually genuine do you think that he can actually pursue it and therefore yvonne do you think that he has the capacity to handle his relationship with yvonne without allowing his silent affections for ikpilek come into the equation just go ahead please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.